guys, what's going on? Finally got a new video for you here today. I've been super busy lately, work's been nuts, and uh, I've just been up to my eyebrows. So uh, uh, yeah, just been really busy. But uh, I recently got in this package, been waiting for, for a while. Um, this is a package from uh, Creepy Customs Coveralls, a uh, fellow by the name of Connor Dins. Um, basically, well, he replicates the 1978 Michael Myers coveralls, like basically gets them movie accurate. Um, and he sells all kinds, like he has different, you know, he has the high-end trade wares, like the legit stuff right out of the movie to, uh, to stuff that's a little bit lower end. Um, the particular ones that I went for are called the Superior 78s which are basically like a later model um, that basically fits the same as the trade wares did. It's a few years newer, so it's not quite as old, but uh, what he does is he modifies the collar enclosure on them to match the trade wares. So they end up looking like legit, exactly like the real deal. And uh, he dyes them whatever color he wants, and of course weathers them accordingly as well. Um, I went for the tech screen because we we figure that is the actual accurate color from the film. It's been long debated. I know it's something on uh, mm.net where uh, they had basically established that the color code for those particular trade wares in the movie must have been tech screen because uh, the spruce isn't right. Uh, I don't think they had black or anything like that. And it's, it wasn't navy, although it looked very navy in the film. Uh, you know, it's tough to say. It's also, there's discretion there, right? Because everybody's television is gonna be a little bit different as well. Some might look more greenish, some might look more blue, black. Um, but anyway, it was, it was established that uh, Apparently, tech screen is the color, so that's what I went with anyway, because I was trying to go for as, as accurate as I could get, sort of to go with the uh, the boots I showed you the other day. Um, yeah, basically to go with the costume. So I sort of guessed on the size. I wasn't exactly sure um, if uh, I made the right decision there or not, because like my work rights, for example, like the ones for the 2018 film, they are uh, 48 long, and uh, they fit quite well for me. They're a teeny bit big, like they're not bad, but I also have a pair of 46s, which I felt fit almost perfectly everywhere. It's just with the elastic in them, they're a little snug in the middle, which made them look a little weird. And uh, this is before I realized that, of course, everybody's taking the elastic out or at least cutting a section out to take out all that uh, cinchiness that really isn't in the movie version. So uh, I do still have that 46. I plan on making a kills uh, coverall set out of my uh, well, pair, not set, um, out of my 46s. So. Anyway, uh, that's the plan for those. And uh, as for sizing though, you know, 48, 46, um, I hear the older ones tend to fit, um, I guess, smaller. Like you generally wanna go up a size. So basically we, we talked it over a lot and I tried to get as much advice as I could. And I just decided to go one size bigger than the 48s I'm already using, right? So just to play it safe, I mean, they might be a little bit big for me going to a 50, but I figured better going a little too big than a little too small, right? 48s might be perfect though, I really don't know as well, because like I said, the 46s fit well, but the elastic I just didn't like. So anyway, uh, got them in here. So I figure I'll open these up, take a look at them here. So you get a first, uh, uh, you know, reaction, I guess, to uh, to how they look. So you're, why not? Okay. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, so I noticed he's got really nice tags done for these. Screen accurate superior 78 H1 work suit. Awesome. Wow. Well, already right off the bat, I love the color. Like the the picture that I got on my phone, it looked uh, it looked almost like a light green. And uh, in person now, seeing them, I mean, you can see they're a little more greenish than the charcoal gray work right or the uh, the tots navy knockoffs of the h1s you can see they're a little slightly different but wow these look almost navy blue they really do have that look oh yeah and the collar that's awesome wow great job um just to show you, take a look at the tag here. So it says, uh, Creepy Custom, Screen Accurate, Superior 78, H1 Work Suit, Vintage Sourced, Screen Match Brand, Film Accurate Weathering. And uh, yeah, the standard finish. Very cool, original brand button. So he's got the original brand button. Number two is the correct pocket shapes and flap. So he alters those. And film accurate weathering, of course, is step three. But uh, very nice tags. You can sort of see that there, I would think. And like so. Maybe a little closer, I don't know. Very cool. All right, let's take a look at these things. Try to hold them up. Just move this chair a little bit. Well, they do look pretty close to the 2018s. They might be a touch wider. They maybe look a little bit wide. Not bad at all though for size. I think these will work. Yeah, maybe a little bit wide. A little bit. I bet you I could have pulled off a 48. I guess we'll see when I'm wearing them. But they do, they look, at first glance, they look a little bit wide in the waist. Let me see here. I'll just do up the zipper a bit more here. Just to compare waist width. Let me see, maybe I'm crazy. Oh no, it's, def it's definitely wider. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, by like, wow, probably three inches. Wow. Wild. Yeah, these are these are quite a bit wider. Probably a good section or so wider. So they might be a little bit on the big side. They're definitely thinner too. Hmm. Well, there's only one way to find out how they'll look on. So I'll have to give them a try later and see um, how they actually look on. The weathering is really nice. Yeah, they look they look great. Very cool. Look at the pockets too. That's awesome. So you got the button. Here. So you can sort of see the collar. Button, pockets. Very nice. Yeah, these are nice. Wow. Yeah, they look huge around the middle. They're scaring me a little bit. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see. I'm going to try them on and we'll, we'll just see. We'll see how big they are. Okay, so here's a look. Not bad, not bad. Definitely feels a little bit on the big side. Not too bad though. Like I said, better to be a little too big than a little too small. But it is, it is definitely a little bigger in here than my 2018s. It's also a little bit longer. So, you know, you could probably pull this off if you're like 6'4". Yeah, the pants are a little bit long. I could probably, could 
probably get away with an inch or two shorter there too, but overall not too bad, just a little bit big. Yeah, it looks with the old knife. Shiny. Got to do something about that. Anyway, not bad. I do like the color too, yeah. Fantastic. Collar's nice and it stands nice, lays nice. Definitely does a really good job with these. Fabric feels good, you know, weathering's good. Not bad. Probably 48s would have been perfect, but this gives me some room. Plus on those really cold Halloween nights, if I'm dressed in this and I'm out there, I can put some extra layers under here and not freeze to death. Because I do live in Alberta, and it gets really cold up here sometimes. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's one more look. Not bad. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you for the next one. See ya.